um, if you have any questions, um, we are here, and it will be a pleasure to answer them. Hi. Um, I've been following the story of the Iranian filmmaker, uh, Jafar, um, for the last name. Yes, and how he was just sentenced to six years in prison about making a film sort of about the same thing. Do you feel that since he has been um, given a prison sentence and won't be able to make film for a while, do you feel like there's a new responsibility in this film? Has your film taken on a new sort of character or life now that <laughs> he has been silenced? Um, I think um, Jaffa Pana. Ah, um, the, 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 you want to repeat it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to repeat it louder. There's already so many that sentence in prison for trying to make a film about the same sort of thing. So, um, as you were saying, that the film has taken on a new sort of responsibility. Um, uh, I, I the problem with Jafar Panahi's um, sentence is um, the, uh, the the um, the 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 uh, Gericht, uh, the, the the trial. Um, excuse me for my limited English. Uh, sorry, um, the trial. Uh, they um, said he wanted to make a film against the regime, yeah. and therefore they they gave a, they gave this harsh sentence. I mean, it is six year in, uh, in, uh, prison, twenty year not allowed to to work, not allowed to make a film, not to write, and not to go outside of Iran, and not to get any contact to journalists. I mean, this is for an artist the death. Um, but um, it is um, the, the 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 issue is so so interesting because in the in the constitution of Iran all the points that they are using in the trial against uh, Jafar Panahi are allowed so he is not doing anything against the law he was within the uh, he was working with, uh, within the constitution of Iran in one hand and also um uh, within the human rights declaration which was signed by Iranian government uh, 30 years ago, 32 years ago. So there was nothing uh, what he was doing uh, wrong uh, in, uh, in, in his work. But um, this is how the dict dictatorship works, right? They, they try to, to um, stop people, stop filmmakers, stop journalists, stop artists, to reflect what is going on in the country. I mean, um, dep depending to the to the uh, Reporters Without Borders uh, uh, news, Iran is the ha biggest country for uh, imprisoned journalists. Be um, there are more imprisoned journalists in Iran than, for example, in China, which is remarkable because Iran has 65 million uh, inhabitants and China has uh, 1.2 billion. So. Um, that makes uh, Jaffa Panahi's situation so so um, interesting. And on the other hand, he is so famous in the world. And by doing uh, um, so against Jaffa Panahi, the Iranian government sends also a very clear signal to other artists, to other filmmakers, to journalists that uh, don't uh, don't uh, come to the to the uh, human rights issues, don't come to the situation of the country, and uh, otherwise you will you will. Uh, uh, pay a high price for that. The lady up there in the dark shirt? Rick? Yeah, right, yeah. You're in there. Oh. Yes, you oh. did. I just wanted to say thank you for making such a beautiful and powerful film. It was just amazing. And I wanted to know if you had any threats to your safety during making of this or now in regards to the subject matter? Um, we came. We we tried we tried to keep uh, the, the the production of this um, of this film secret because we didn't want it to have too much trouble with the uh, with the Iranian government and I'm, well um, we are living all of us we are living outside of the, uh, of Iran uh, I mean Iran made lots of uh, killed lots of Iranian oppositions outside of Iran uh, ten or fifteen years ago I hope they they learned from the from the history not to do so again um, but f f 
uh, it is for, for, for our families maybe which are living still in Iran um, much more bigger trouble than for us for ourselves. But on the other hand, it is if you uh, I mean we a big part of our team were, uh, are Iranian uh, German uh, okay. people and um, to um, make this the, the decision to make this film. Um, means not to be allowed to go to Iran anymore and um, and to live with that insecure situation. But uh, we felt all together that this is somehow our duty to do, to do, to make this film because our colleagues inside Iran were not able to do that. Here in the White House. Uh, so tonight, uh, we really audience is very story. Um, what, do you, what do you think our responsibility is? Um, I think um, there are three uh, things which are for me personally um, important, maybe the colleagues are things different than me, but um, I think the first first thing we have to know in the, in the democratic societies that uh, is that democracy and freedom is nothing uh, what we uh, what is uh, usual or what is normal we have to to work for that day by day every day in our in our behavior in our um, coming together with other people we have to re uh, 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 practice it and i think uh, if you see um, people like in countries in uh, like iran uh, how they deal with uh, how they deal for for that freedom for democracy then we have really take care for for this high High um, 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 wealth, what we have in, in in democratic countries. On the other hand, I think also we should be responsible for these countries, which don't, which are really working hard for having democracy in their own countries or freedom. And uh, it is very interesting because the Western countries or the international community is talking with Iran about the nuclear issue and about the security of the region. And um, I really ask myself, how can they do that without uh, with putting in the same time the issue of democracy and freedom and uh, fr freedom for their own people outside of these discussions? I, I ask myself, how can they trust a country or a government which kills their own people uh, when it comes to the security of our own, but they don't give the security and freedom for their own people, how they can sec uh, give us the security that they give us the freedom and the, 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 the peace we want to have in other countries. So I think really the issue of democracy and, and civil movement, civil rights, human rights, should be within the talks with Iran about right. the nuclear issue and the stability in the Middle East region. And we can't, we can't put it out. So it would be very great if um, you, uh, as, 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 um, um, as um, um, uh, people who can vote for, for your politicians, who can talk with the politicians, make it clear that uh, it is your uh, will, it is your wish that this um, issues are within the within the um, um, this talks with Iran, and I think um, that, that this that this would this would uh, help a lot. And uh, on the other hand, I mean, we are all uh, single persons are trying our best to make uh, our uh, in our work um, a step for for these people. And I think uh, we, everybody can translate this wish. Uh, or uh, um, in in his own via, uh, environment and uh, uh, own uh, life to find a way to be um, uh, to influence that process in a way. One more question. Uh, um, there are um, the colleagues uh, remember me uh, that uh, we have a website. Uh, it's mm -hmm. called the Green Wave uh, hash. Um, uh, uh, the Green Wave minus uh, film dot com, and there are lots of uh, institutions and NGOs which are dealing with that issue. So if you go to our website, you find lots of NGOs which are uh, dealing with that issue. One more question. <coughs> Way up there. If you would mind discussing the process of researching the blog, where you came across these uh, these entries, and if you had any communication with the author. 
authors of the blog that you were using for the um, We were around about three people which were collecting blogs. Uh, in the in the internet, we had at the end uh, I think 1,500 pages on blogs, and nearly three and a half thousand pages on Twitter messages. Wow. Uh, and out of this uh, blogs and messages, we uh, from from the blogs we took 15, wow. and from the message uh, from the uh, Twitter messages, I think around about 35 something like that. And uh, we were mostly looking for blogs which were dealing with the emotions or the personal situation, personal point of view of the people um, and not a global idea what is going on in, the, in that period of time in Iran. And um, because we, we thought in, in, it, it was much more important to, have, to understand how the, peop how the young people were dealing emotionally with, the, with that issue than uh, because the, the other, the news we knew uh, we we saw it on the on the TV, but what was inside going on in the people? We didn't we didn't hear that uh, that too uh, too much in the in the news, and um, most of the people uh, were working without their uh, contacts and without their names, so they put it in a, uh, uh, without any any possibility to pe to keep contact with them. And uh, there is, for for example, the lady which was imprisoned. She worked with her own name, and she would she was imprisoned, and we got contact with her. And uh, the problem was that, that the government made such a big pressure on her to to move that blog out uh, of the internet that uh, it was deleted uh, after after a while. But uh, interesting enough uh, uh, that other people had copied already this this uh, this blogs to their blogs, so the blog still exists. Oh, I have to remember them to vote. <laughs> I am sorry to do so, but uh, please vote. Uh,